Right, so um, this is Neville here. I'm just doing a quick example of something that, uh, that really is an irritation I find in Google Chrome. I'm still astounded. I just tweeted that I'm amazed that uh, there is still no print preview. Here's an example. So here I am on this website. It just happens to be the one that I was wanting to print. And uh, look at the design of the site. You get the feeling, okay, if I just hit the print button, I'm probably going to get God knows how many pages with stuff like this all on separate pages where what I want is this. So uh, I go to look on the menu and I can see print, but no print preview. And of course, I know that, uh, but I, that is where I am. So I thought, damn it. So I copy the URL and load it up in Firefox, which you can see here, the same page. And I can do that. And there you can see straight away I've got a print preview. So I click on print preview. Here's what I see. Okay, simple, but that's fine. I'm after the text content, not um, a fancy design to print out the page. And uh, if I look at this, I see, if I scroll a bit, you can see when I get to a page join that there are actually five pages. But you can actually quite clearly see that the content I want is here. And I scroll down and it continues just a bit onto this page. Okay, I need this page, obviously, because it's the end of the content. Uh, I'm not so much interested in this. There's no comments anyway, so fine. Uh, but if I continue scrolling, I see, see what's happening. Look, you've got all this stuff here on separate pages that gives me stuff I'm not interested in having in a printout, typically. You wouldn't be. Uh, but just look how it goes. And I'm not criticizing the, the bloggers uh, on the TweetCamp blog. It's the theme. Uh, the fact that there isn't uh, an option uh, to present this uh, nicely um, uh, that uh, is a version formatted for print. That's typically not the case on blogs uh, far too frequently. I'm actually going to show you something right now, actually, on my own blog uh, where I do have that. So if I go to, to mine, and we'll just pick a page, and I'll show you what I mean. So for instance, if I go to this post I wrote today, uh, it's actually quite interesting about these mobile apps that uh, IBM's developed for Wimbledon. But uh, I just let the page load. We can see it's still loading stuff down here. Uh, but that actually should be enough to uh, to let us get a sense of what we want to do. So I've got, uh, you know, the, the, the title, there's the sidebars, all this stuff. I'm not interested in any of those things. If I want to do a hard copy, I'm just interested in this content. Uh, so, you know, I'm not interested in all this, uh, in this. I'm not interested in this blank stuff. Uh, none of that. There's no comments here at the moment, so I'm not interested in anything else. I just want that content. What do I do? Uh, well, I could do in Firefox you know, uh, this, that gives me the print preview, and, um, oh yeah, page, page is still loading, okay, fine. Uh, well, in fact, the point, to cut it short, it will be something similar uh, to what we saw with the other site, uh, plain text formatted, but on multiple pages, because it would include all this stuff. But there's a nice plugin for WordPress. Print this post, Lester Chan, prolific plugin creator, it's a plugin. So I print, I click on that, and what it does, it gives me a version uh, of the site formatted for print. That includes the graphics, although I can turn them off if I want. And uh, this also gives me the option to uh, add all the links at the end, very handy if you're doing a printout, uh, or I can actually disable that. And there I click to print, I can do uh, some customization uh, in the uh, settings. But that's the best. Not necessarily this particular plugin, but a means to present uh, a uh, a, a, what do you call it, a um, version of your site, whether it's a blog or a website, that if someone wants to print it out, is formatted for that purpose. Uh, you see it on mainstream media sites, typically quite a few. Uh, I'm thinking of Financial Times, for example, is a good one. But very rarely do you see it on blogs with fancy designs. And you just know it is too risky uh, to hit that print button, unless you really don't care about wasting so much paper. I do, I must admit. And I find it really uh, kind of damn moment when you, you don't think and hit that print button and uh, not knowing what to expect. Hence, uh, the thing I find astounding in Google Chrome, that there isn't a print preview, it is essential on websites these days in my experience. Anyway, rant over about printing in Google Chrome. Uh, that, by the way, is one of the reasons, in fact, if not the prime reason why I've gone back to Firefox. I made the switch to Chrome. I blogged about it. I've gone back to Firefox because that is an imperative uh, element of the browser I just can't do without. Otherwise, I waste so much paper. Anyway, thoughts for the day. <laughs>